the audio logos of the ancient Roman history with me, our Ivano. What a perfect timing and place to talk about the next expansion of the ancient Rome. The previous episode we were talking about the, uh, the Punic Wars, which they were epical and uh, Rome extend its power to the West Mediterranean and uh, become really the super, uh, super state which continued to expand uh, Rome, uh, Rome to Greece and Macedonia. So we come to the clash of uh, one epical kingdom of Mithridates uh, and so-called the Mithridatic Wars. There will be three. And Rome really became empire in 27 BC, but before that date Rome still be republic, being republic. So was it inevitable this war? The answer is no, because Mithridates was Mithridates fort of Pontus was an extremely ambitious uh, general and a king who wants to extend his powers uh, and uh, to conquer more territories and make his kingdom in the east great. But Rome already conquered Greece and Macedonia, and it was time that uh, it was inevitable the clash between the two states. So the war started in uh, the first Mithridatic War started in 1889 BC. Mithridates has in his court one uh, really vicious man, a uh, philosopher called Metrodorus, who really hates bitterly the Romans. So he suggests to, to uh, Mithridates the Four of Pontus to kill all the Roman citizens and them allies, the Italians of the cities of uh, Black, Black Sea, what it was Pontus at the time, the name, and to kill them all. Uh, that was very, uh, very uh, precisely and, uh, and well planned. And we can say that one, that was one of the ancient ethnical cleansings in the, in the first BC century, first BC. So why Mithridates uh, search for that war? Mithridates wanted to expand his, uh, how I said, his territory and influence, but the Romans, uh, and he was sick of uh, waiting for the Romans' disputes in the Senate, he wanted to expand his territory first in Cappadocia, but he, he didn't want to wait any longer, so he killed, uh, some ancient author said that he killed about 80,000 Roman citizens and allies in the cities he controlled. He invades uh, Cappadocia, and as well he helped the rebellions in Greece to rise against Rome. Now, against him was sent uh, the talented uh, consul, new consul, Lucius Cornelius Sulla, who starts uh, first to put down the rebellion in Greece. So he besieged uh, Athens and uh, in the winter of 87-86. So it was, but the Athenians were very uh, strong headed and they wouldn't give up but in the first of March in 86 BC uh, Athens fall so he was very cruel to the inhabitants and the de de defenders of the city uh, then follow a few battles uh, after the battle uh, the battle of Geronese in 86 BC the Romans won the battle of Miletopolis in 86 BC also the Romans uh, come out victorious and in the battle of Orontes in 85 BC the, the, the allies and the troops of the Pontic king Metidates the fort were, were defeated so also I'm the place now in, uh, in the Black Sea in the western coast which also were part of uh, this um, kingdom it, it, it's its greatest extent but after the fall of uh, Athens and the battle of Oron Oromenes in 85 BC, uh, Greek fall again under the Roman ro rules and they were fully controlled by them. The other general, Roman general Cross, more or less the same time, his name was Flavius Fabria, crossed the Hellespont and he uh, recaptured Pergamus, and that was the end of the really the strong resistance of the Mithridates the Fort, who was one of the greatest few of Rome. So he was forced, after all these battles he lost in cities, to negotiate with Sulla, and they make peace in 
Dardanos. They make the peace of Dard Dardanos, but this peace wasn't was not uh, ratified by the Roman Senate. And um, what he had to do is uh, to give up all the territories he he regained during the war. And um, also he has to give 70 ships to to Sulla so he can go back to Rome. Uh, this peace was uh, made in 85 BC, and that was the end of the first Punic, uh, first uh, uh, Mithridatic Wars. Unfortunately, um, Rome was engaged again uh, uh, after this period in the civil wars, and also uh, in civil wars, so uh, Mithridates fought, saw the opportunity, and he sized. He seized uh, again uh, many territories in Asia Minor and the uh, coast of the Black Sea, or at uh, that time it's called Pontic Sea. And um, the second, uh, that was the second uh, Mithridatic War, which lasted only one year, was very short, between 83 and 82 BC. And um, uh, the general, Roman general who was operating and was given the responsibility for the re uh, region was. Lucinius Morena, who was close friends to Sua, but because he wasn't uh, supported by the Roman troops uh, because of the civil war, he couldn't uh, defeat the Mithridates IV, so he gained much more territories again in Asian Maya and the coast of the Black Sea, or what was that time, the Ponic, uh, Pon the Ponic, Ponic Sea, Pontic Sea, sorry, and um, so, but how we all know, the Romans never forget injuries, and the Third Mithridatic War was inevitable. So, in uh, the Third Mithridatic War, it started in 75 BC and lasted until 65 BC. Uh, the general that time in uh, the region was uh, Lucullus, who was an extremely good tactician and general. And in the Battle of Kizikus in 74 BC, with much smaller troops, he uh, killed and defeated, uh, killed up to 200,000 uh, Mithridates uh, troops. And with a little skirmishing, he, he avoided uh, deliberately uh, frontal battle. He, he just skirmishing and defeated them and captured the city of Kizikus. Uh, later, in the 72, in the Battle of Cambria, the, the Mithridatic troops of the fort of Pontus were defeated again. And um, that really uh, didn't give a very great prospect for them to win the war. Only great uh, battle they won was in the, uh, in the sea, in Caledon, Calcedon when they defeat uh, the Roman navy, uh, up to, they were up to 70 ships. But in, they, they continue losing battles, and um, Lucullus, after the Battle of Cabria, Mithridates the Forge uh, uh, ran away and went to, to his son-in-law, Tigranes, who was the king of Armenia. But again, Lucullus, Follow and in the Battle of Tigranusceptra and in 69 and the Battle of Artoxata, he defeats the Armenian troops and that that was the end of uh, big hope for the, them to win the war. But because of political uh, climate in Rome, even though Lucullus was extremely extremely uh, uh, talented and skillful general, and he proved it in the battlefield. He was replaced by uh, by Pompey, and in 66 BC, uh, in Battle of Nicopolis, uh, decisively Pompey defeats the, the troops of Mithridates IV. And after the battle, he killed himself in front of his family and daughters. Uh, so that was uh, the end of the Third Mithridatic War, which. Uh, Rome became really master of most of parts of of um, Asian Minor, and uh, he he extend his supremacy in the coast of uh, of the Black Sea, or what it calls in the ancient time uh, Pontic Sea. So I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this uh, episode. Even though for me it's a bit hot, but. Uh, uh, 
when you know history and you want to give a bit of knowledge to the other people, nothing can stop you. So, greetings from the Black Sea, and I hope you learn something new today. And um, if you if you like the, the episode, please hit the subscribe button and the like button too. Thank you. Have a good day.